welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen, and today I have a collaboration video for you. I am ooh, mm, I am collabing with the beautiful Miss Bailey Lane. I will go ahead and put her picture right here. I found Bailey's channel a couple weeks ago, and I've really been loving her videos, so I had to take the opportunity to ask her to do a collaboration with me, especially when I found out that we have the same skin type. <laughs> yes, dry skin. Sucks. If you haven't seen Bailey's channel before, check it out. She is so cute. I absolutely love her videos. Her reviews are really great quality, which is one of the reasons why I absolutely love her. And she's bubbly, but she's super down to earth. So definitely go ahead and check her out. I will leave her link, her channel link, and also her video link down below in the description bar. So today we are going to be discussing our favorite dry skin products. I have a crap load of products to show you guys of what I really love for my my dry skin. I have both skincare, some tools, and some makeup, so let's go ahead and get started. Starting off with skincare, there are a ton of products that I absolutely love for my dry skin. However, because I recently did a skincare video, I will just name a few that I feel are really, really great options for those of us with dry skin. The first thing is something that I have repurchased five or six times. This is my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion, Lotion Plus. This is such a great lightweight foundation foundation. <laughs> this is such a great lightweight moisturizer. I absolutely, absolutely love this. I use this both in the morning and at night, and it's so great because it's lightweight, but it helps balance out your pH so it can really tell how much moisture your specific skin needs. So not only is this great for dry skin girls, this is also great for combination on oily skin girls. For my dry skin, this really works as a great daily moisturizer. If I want something a little bit more intense, I'll go with the heavier cream at, cream at the nighttime, but this is really my go-to moisturizer. The next product that has been such a fun find for me is the Bosha Exfoliating Peel Gel. It looks like this. When you pump it out, it looks like hand sanitizer. Everyone out there should exfoliate no matter what kind of skin you have, but as a dry skin girl, I do it so that I can remove all of the dead skin that's on the top layer of my skin, not necessarily for pores, but more to just really remove all of that dead flaky skin that builds up over time. I don't like exfoliating every day because my skin is very sensitive and so it, it can lead to even more dryness, like redness or irritation on the skin. And so this Bosha product is great because what it does is it just removes the very top layer of any dead skin cells and it balls up. It's super cool. So all you do is you just put it on your skin and it will take all of those dry those dead skin cells and roll them up into little balls. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but if you see all of those little balls, that is all dead skin. Go and rub some of this on your face. Get off all of that gross dead skin and your foundation will apply better. Your primer will last longer. Everything will work so much better if you get off all of that dry skin. And again, you don't need a harsh exfoliator for that. I only started using it recently, but I've seriously, seriously loved it. You hardly need to use any product at all. So although it is a little bit more expensive, you really don't have to use that much much to get all of the dead skin off of your face and it's so gentle that I can use it every day without fail and I haven't broken out from it yet. Such a great product and it's so innovative and really really cool to use. Moving on to some tools, I have to mention a sponge. If you have dry skin, a sponge is going to be a great way to apply your foundation. This is the Real Technique sponge. As you can see, mine is definitely ready for a replacement. I did use this to apply my foundation today. When you run it under the faucet, it locks moisture in the actual sponge so it's nice light and fluffy and it distributes the foundation so much nicer than a brush does you don't have any streaking it lays on the skin nice it also covers up any dry patches well with any sort of sponge either the real techniques sponge or the beauty blender these are great for dry skin and it also helps just 
apply the perfect amount of foundation that way you can get a nice coverage without looking too cakey. Speaking of cakiness, I know that all of us dry girls have experienced looking like a cake face at least once in our life. And why is this? It's because the powder loves to just build up on those dry patches. And so I have to mention a setting spray. Setting spray is not only going to help your foundation last longer, it's also going to help if there is any powder buildup on your face. So I chose to share with you guys today the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Spray and Set. This is a newer product to the drugstore just a couple months old and it um, sprays a fine mist onto your face it will help your foundation look less dry less powdery and more natural so for a dry skin girl this is definitely going to be a great option for you moving on to foundation my absolute favorite glowy foundation has to be the true match lumi this is great it's from the drugstore it seriously just feels so great on the skin when you wear this it looks like you are a goddess glowing in the sun it is so beautiful it doesn't have the longest wear time so i do suggest just wearing it with a primer however the finish is absolutely beautiful I use two layers of this and I have great medium coverage and my skin looks so healthy when I use this foundation I get so many compliments whenever I wear this and it's it's seriously hands down my favorite drugstore foundation the only thing that I don't like about this foundation is that it is a little bit dark for me so I do have to add a little bit of white foundation but that's absolutely no problem I'm used to it with most foundations uh, but I'm in the color n 1 n 2 and I absolutely absolutely love this foundation. The next foundation I have to mention is one that I have mentioned multiple times on my channel and so I'm not going to go into huge review but it's the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescued the Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. This is like a mousse formula and it feels so good on the skin. It not only looks good on my dry skin but it feels so nourishing. My skin feels plump, healthy when I wear this. It is similar to a BB cream so it's not full coverage. For those of you who like light coverage this is going to be a great option for you. For more details I will link um, my review of this foundation down below. Another Bare Minerals product Product, but for those of you who like powder is the original powder foundation this is uh, their special edition uh, packaging which I got it because I think it's just absolutely gorgeous but I never wore powder foundation until I wore this and I absolutely absolutely adore the original bare minerals original foundation it is a great natural finish that doesn't leave you too flat and too matte and it doesn't dry you out this also doesn't cling to my dry patches. It looks so beautiful on the skin, and if you are someone who wants more of a powder finish, you don't want to have to worry about the liquid stuff, try their original foundation. I think the loose foundation from Bare Minerals should be in every girl's makeup collection, and they have such a wide variety of shade ranges that you will find something that will match you in the Bare Minerals line. For those of you who may not want the luminous look but still have dry skin, I've really been loving this Shiseido Radiant Lifting Foundation. This has an SPF of 17. This is more thick than a normal foundation, so a little bit goes a long way. It gives me a natural finish. It doesn't make me super luminous, it doesn't make me super glowy, but it does leave my skin looking flawless, and the coverage on this is amazing. It doesn't dry my skin out, it doesn't irritate it, and it leaves it just with a nice natural looking finish. I use this in my bridal photos, and the photos turned out beautiful, and it's just this. This is so good. Shiseido! Moving on to concealer, I have to mention my Dream Lumi concealer. If you have very, very dry under eyes, this is going to be an awesome product for you because it's not drying at all it, and it doesn't cling to any fine lines. You can just put it in any areas where you may need a little bit of extra coverage. The coverage isn't amazing. It's not a full coverage concealer, but it does add that little bit of healthy glow. This is also one of the few concealers at the drugstore that can match my, match me, match my skin color because I am so fair. So that is a huge plus for me. A liquid highlighter that I seriously love, this has to be in my holy grail, like top 10 favorite products of all time, has to be the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. I have just the travel size from uh, one of the Christmas sets this last year. This is in the color Pearl. The thing about this is it looks so beautiful once blended into the skin. It is literally undetectable as a makeup product. Like you put it on your skin, no one will know that you are wearing highlighter. They'll just be like, whoa, you have super glowy, beautiful, healthy glowing skin. And you're like, I know, it's natural. No, it's not. It's not natural. It's Becca. I seriously use this 
all the time. And if I have a matte foundation that I like, like there are a few, there are a few matte foundations that I do like, but I don't like how matte they are. What I'll do is I'll just put a couple of dabs of this on my hand, mix it with the matte, matte foundation, and then throw it on my face, and it has a little bit more of a natural or luminous finish depending on how much I put in. It is just the most beautiful highlighter. It's so natural. If you want a natural highlighted look, this is going to be your holy grail. I absolutely, absolutely love this so much. So much, so much! Finally moving on to blushes, I have to mention Luminoso. This is Luminoso from Milani. This is a beautiful luminous peach blush. I'm wearing it today. It's kind of like a corally color, I guess you could say. And the reason I love this, it helps the skin look like it is glowing from within. <laughs> like you look like you have rays of sunshine in your bosom, like, and it's coming out your face. Like it is so beautiful. And it is just the right amount of pigmentation to really give your skin that nice healthy look. If you're having a sick day put on some Luminoso and you will instantly look so much better. I feel like this color is flattering on so many different skin tones. Definitely pick this up. It's drugstore item absolutely worth every penny. And the last cheek product I have to mention is something that's fairly new to me. It is the new ColourPop blushes. These are so interesting because they're like a, a cream powder product. It's it's so weird. You you really can't describe it until you touch it. If you have super super dry cheeks, this is going to be a great option for you because it does not dry on the cheeks to a powder finish. It just feels nice and it blends beautifully. This color is prenup. It's a beautiful mauve color and it blends out so well on the cheeks. It looks beautiful and these tend to be a little bit more matte than some of like the shimmery um, the shimmery blushes that you might find out there. So it really just gives your cheeks a great like natural pop of color that isn't too overbearing. Those are a couple of my favorite products for dry skin. Go ahead and leave your favorites down below. I will go ahead and link Bailey's channel and her video down below in the description box as well. So please check out her channel. She is seriously such such a cute and great girl and I really really love her videos and I know you will too. I think you guys so much for your support. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You guys can always subscribe to my channel down below. As always, please stay safe, you guys. I love your faces, and I will talk to you later. Bye! I also recently got new glasses, so they are new to the scene as well. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I've always been a little afraid of wearing glasses in film because you can see the light reflection, so I hope that doesn't bother, bother you. I hope that doesn't bother you guys too much. I didn't really like my old glasses, so I'm really excited to have glasses that I like so I can film with them, and it's going to be so great! I've been wearing these ones a lot, and the is just beautiful, so, so great, and I've been loving them.